All right, we're back on the record. Um, all parties and council are pleas present. Um, Mr. Uh, <coughs> Lettel, you need to, you have till 2.15 to complete your case. Um, Ms. Ravello, you, or Ms. Uh, Sangalaza, used up a lot of your presentation time and cross-examination, so you'll have till close to 5 o'clock to present your case, okay? Okay, call your next witness, please. All right, Sierra Johnson. Short testimony about to give in this action shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So, if you got yes, thank you, Ms. Johnson. Would you please state and spell your full name for the record? Sierra S I E R R A Johnson J O H N S O N. And where do you reside, Ms. Johnson? Lakeville, Minnesota. Um, do you know uh, this gentleman to my right? I do. Okay, how long have you known him? Roughly 14 years. Um, you said you live in Minnesota? Yes. Okay. Um, have you ever lived in Wisconsin? I attended college in Wisconsin. Okay. Um, um, have you ever been, uh, did, sorry, before I get to that, do you, do you know the, the plaintiff? This? Yes. Okay. And how long have you known her? Uh, maybe two, two years. Okay. Right. So where, where did you meet her? Um, I met her, um, first met her in Minnesota when they were visiting. Okay. They were visiting you specifically? Or? Um, they were visiting Minnesota and we met up. Got it. All right. Uh, have you ever observed um, to Mr. Ravello, uh, well, first of all, have you, have you met Julian, the party's child? I have. Okay. And, and when, when did you first meet Julian? In April. Okay. Of this year? Yes. Okay. And where did you meet Julian? In Wisconsin. Okay. Um, During that time, uh, first of all, when you met them in Wisconsin, how how many times did you see uh, Mr. Ravella and Julian together? I stayed with Nick and his son for a week. Okay. And during that time, were you able to observe Mr. Ravella and Julian together? I was. Okay. And what were your general impressions of the relationship between Mr. Ravella question. and Child. All right. It's not leading because he just asked, what were your general impressions? That they had a really good connection with each other. There was a lot of love, a lot of care given to this child. And uh, during the week that you were uh, staying with them in Wisconsin, did, did you have any concerns about Objection. Mr. Ravello's ability to parent Julian? Objection. Leading question. He's asking concerned about his ability yeah, we're to gonna parent. Keep uh, I, I don't think it's the same I don't think it's leading so overruled. Okay. Did you have any concerns? I didn't have any concerns whatsoever. Okay. No further questions for this witness from Cross. Okay. How many times have you met me in person? Three or four. Do you live in Las Vegas? I do not. Have you been to Las Vegas since the child has been born? I I have. When? Earlier this summer, I've when, been here twice. When did you? Where did you stay? I stayed with Nick. Where? In his apartment. Okay, and then um, what? What floor is his apartment on? Objection relevance. Uh, on your, I'm trying to establish whether or not she actually was there because she would know. All right. I don't know the eighth. I have no idea. <laughs> um. Okay. No further questions. It's a high rise. Is that correct? It's yes. Not. There are oh, multiple floors. Okay. okay. Anything further, Council? Um, no, no redirect right now. Okay. You may step down, ma'am. You're free to go at this point in time. Please do not discuss any of the testimony you gave on the stand with any other witness in the case. Thank you. 
Now I'm playing a plus two to the wall. You do software testimony you're about to give in this action show you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so you got I will. Good afternoon, Mr. Buell. Would you please state uh, state and spell your full name for the record? Uh, Stephen Buell, S T E P H E N B U E L L. Thank you. And where do you reside, Mr. Buell? Uh, I'm living in Milwaukee right now. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Okay. <clears throat> Have you ever lived in Ripon? I have not. Uh, do you know the gentleman to my right, the, the, the plaintiff in this action? I do. Okay, and how long have you known Mr. Rebella? Uh, dating back to my college years, so about 10 years. Okay. Um, and how, how did you come to know Mr. Rebella? Um, through some mutual friends of ours. Um, do you know the, the defendant in this action? I do. Okay, and how long have you known from Ms. Sangalaza? Uh, since they started dating, but I maybe only hung out once or twice. Okay. Not very well. Okay. Um, have you ever met the party's child, Julian? I have. Okay. And when did you first meet him? Um, sh shortly after he was born. I was in Vegas. Okay. Yeah. And I'm uh, um, sorry, you met him in, in Las Vegas? In Las Vegas, yes. Okay. Um, have you ever spent any time uh, with around Julian? Since that, that first trip Objection, to Objection, question. Overruled. Uh, could you repeat? Since that first time you met Julian, yes. have, you, have you spent any time around Julian? Oh, yeah. I've lived with Nicholas and Julian um, over the summer, the okay. entire month of June and July. Um, and that was at Nick's apartment? At Nick's time? apartment. Okay. And while you were living <coughs> at Nick's apartment, over the summer, did you have any opportunity to observe um, Nick and Julian together? I did. And what were your general impressions of uh, the relationship between Nick and Julian? Um, very positive. Like, they always seem, to, Julian would always have a smile on his face. Like, you know, I did some babysitting too, and when he would come back, and it would always, I mean, he was always happy to see him. Inside the apartment, they always got along. You could tell they both really cared for each other. And during the time that you were staying with uh, Nick over the summer, did, did you have any concerns about Nick's ability to uh, be a father to Julian? I did not. Nothing further, Your Honor. Pause. Okay. So what do you do professionally? What's your occupation? Me? Mm -hmm. I play poker professionally. Okay, and um, when do you typically pay, play poker? Um, at night. Um, Over the summer. What, when do you want? What days of the week? Um, varies. Okay, and um, you stated that you lived with them over the summer, correct? I did. Were you on the lease? I was not on any lease. I was on a month to month. Okay, thank you. Um, and um, are you CPR certified? Objection. Completely relevant. Yeah, Why he, is was that baby, relevant? he was baby. He's playing. He stated he was babysitting. Are you CPR certified? Objection. Relevant. I'll allow it. I'm not CPR certified. Okay. And um, are you cleared to babysit? Your your background. Your your. Did you get a background check to be cleared to babysit? Objection. Compound question and relevance. Sustained. Okay. On both. Did you ever get a background check to become a babysitter? Objection relevance. He's not a professional babysitter, so <clears throat> I don't see the relevance as to whether or not he got a background check. Most babysitters who are not professionals and sit for their friends don't get bankrupt background checks. So, Are you related to the baby, to the child? 
I'll allow that. I am not really. Okay, no further questions. Thank you. No redirection. Okay. You're free to step down. Please don't discuss the testimony that you gave on the stand with any other witness in the case. You do solemnly swear testimony about to give in this action shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So be God. I do. Good afternoon, Mr. Rivello. Can you please state and spell your name for the record? My name is Beth Rivello, R E V E L L O. Thank you. Where do you reside? I live in Ripon, Wisconsin. Okay. Do you know the gentleman to my right? I do. How do you know him? Nick is my son. Okay. You've known him uh, his whole life? Yes. Okay. Uh, do, you know the, do you know the defendant in this action, the woman here? So yes, I know. do. Okay, and how long have you known her? Uh, since, I believe, I can't remember the exact month, but I think it was July of 2018. Okay. And, um, or 2017. And, and have you met the parties? 2017. 2017? Thank you. Yes. I, have you met the party's child, Julian? Yes. And, so, and Julian is your grandson? Yes. Objection, okay. we didn't question. Um, Sustained. When, when did you first uh, meet Julian? I first met Julian um, a day or two after he was born. Okay. And where was that? In um, Las Vegas at the um, Summerlin Hospital. Okay. Um, uh, since Julian was born, have you had an opportunity to observe uh, your son, Nick, interacting with Julian? Yes, I have. Uh, on, on about how many occasions? Um, well, when he was born, I was here for a week. And I observed him then. Then I was here in December, last December, and um, I stayed with Nick and Julian. And then... Um, Nick was home in April of this year for three weeks, and I observed them every day. Okay. Uh, any, any time since April of this year or no? Objection, leading question. It just says any time. It's not a leading question. Okay. It doesn't suggest the answer. I have not seen them in person since April. Okay. So in the times that you have been around Nick and Julian together. What what are your general impressions of the relationship between Nick and Julian? They have a very good relationship. Well, Julian is very happy around Nick. And what what leads you to that conclusion? He smiles a lot. Um, he's he's very happy, talkative. I've seen um, videos that Nick has sent me. Do, do you yourself ha have a relationship with Julian? Not a close one because of our distance, but um, yeah. Okay. Would you like to have a relationship with Julian? I certainly would. Objection. Okay. He's asking an opinion question, an opinionated question. Not, not, it's not going to establish any facts. Relevant facts. Uh, a, it's all right to ask an opinion question. However, whether or not she'd like to have a relationship really isn't relevant to the custody determination, so I'll sustain it on that basis. Fair enough, Your Honor. And the answer is stricken. Fair enough, Your Honor. In the time that you've spent uh, observing Nick and Julian together, do you have any concerns about Nick's ability to uh, act as a parent to Julian? Not at all. No, no further questions? Cross. Okay. Do you have any other children? How old is your son? 
He's 34. And um, when you came to visit the baby in the hospital, who did you bring with you? I brought my friend Joanne. And had Joanne ever been to Las Vegas? I believe she had, yes. Had she met anyone in my family? I don't think so. Well, she had met you. Um, before well, my that. question was, had she met anyone in my family? No, just you. Okay, thank you. And um, when did you arrive to Las Vegas? I think it was um, just, the day just after. Oh, recently? Um, yesterday? And um, thank you. No further questions. Okay. Anything else? No redirection. Okay. Ma'am, you're free to step down. Please okay. not discuss the testimony that you gave on the stand okay. with any other witness in the case. All right. You do solemn swear testimony about to give in this action shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So if you got it. Good afternoon, Ms. Semensky. Could you state and spell your full name for the record? Heidi Semensky, H E I D I S E M E N S K E. Thank you. Uh, where do you reside, Ms. Semensky? I reside in Green Lake, Wisconsin. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> how far is Green Lake, Wisconsin from Ripon? About 10 miles. Um, do you know the gentleman to my right? I do. Okay, and how do you know him? He is my nephew. Okay, so how long have you known Nick Rivella? Since he was born. Okay. Uh, what about uh, the defendant here to my left? Have you ever met her? I have. Okay, how long, have you, how long has it been since you met her? Um, from when I first met her? Yes. September of, no, I'm sorry. Well, it was in 2017. It would have been July. Okay. And well, where did you meet her? Um, at my furniture store, my outdoor furniture store. Well, where is that located? In Ripon. Okay. All right. Um, in addition to being uh, my client's aunt, do you have any other relationship with him? Um, no, not necessarily. Specifically, um, do you have any objection? Do you have any business relationship? Objection, with leading question. Home rule doesn't assume that she does or she doesn't. Do you have any business relationship with your client? Um, I'm not really sure how to answer that. Let me ask you a different question. Are okay. you familiar with my client's financial situation? I am. Okay, and how how, how did you become Objection, familiar Objection, leading that? question, or relevance, really. All allowed, it may go to child support. Okay. How, how did you come to know about my client's financial situation? Um, I was at one point um, in the trustee of a trust. Okay. <clears throat> Have you uh, spent any time around the party's children, Julian? I have. On how many occasions? Um, two separate occasions. Okay. And when was the first of those? About a year ago. Okay. And where was that? Here. Okay. And for how long? Um, four days. Okay. And then the second? How, the, when, the second when was when um, Nick was able to bring Julian back to Wisconsin. And that was in April of this year. Okay, and for how long was that? Three weeks. Okay. Um, during the times that you have uh, spent uh, a 
around Nick and Julian together. What were your general impressions of the relationship between Nick and Julian? Um, Nick was very caring toward Julian. Julian seemed very happy um, with Nick. Um, Nick would play with him. He was, you know, meeting his needs. Um, we took Julian to the park. We took him on the swings and down the slide. Um, we took him when he was back in Wisconsin. We took him to the gym, and he was able to run around with, you know, Sean and Chris's children. Um, okay. And during the times that you've been able to observe Nick and Julian together, did you have any concerns about Nick's ability to parent Julian? I did not. Okay. No further questions there. Cross. Okay. Do you play? Do you pay the plaintiff's rent? Uh, pardon? Can do you, you do you pay the plaintiff's rent? Yes. Because okay. I. Thank you. That, that's all I need. Thank you. Do you send the plaintiff money? On occasion. All? Do you have any children of your own? I do not. Okay. And does the plaintiff work at your furniture store on occasion? Um. He hasn't. Okay, and um, how much money does the plaintiff owe you? Um, right now it's approximately $25,000. Thank you, no further questions. Okay, you direct? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, Ms. Sangalasa uh, had asked you a question about paying uh, Ms. Ruvella's rent and you started to you said because, and then she cut you off. What, what were you going to say? Yes, Objection, I mean, leading question. Well, leading request. It's not a leading request. He's asking you to finish the response to her answer previously. He's not suggesting what that answer should be. My name is on the lease. Okay. And then why, why did you agree to have your name on the lease? Um, because I was able to pay the rent. And... Uh, the the twenty five thousand dollars that you're owed, um, can you explain to the court what, how that debt was incurred or what it was for? Um, it's for the rent that's being paid, some of the legal fees. Okay. I base I basically help out. Okay. Nothing further, Your Honor. Okay. Anything else? No. Thank you. Your Honor. Okay. You're free to step down and you're free to leave. Please do not discuss the testimony that you gave on the stand with any other witness in the case. Okay, thank you. Court's indulgence for just uh, one minute. Okay, you now can call any of your witnesses um, or testify yourself, whichever way you want to manage your presentation of the case. Okay, um, Your Honor, at this time I'd like to um, call my first witness, uh, Jackie Dolan. Um, she's, we're, can we call her on the phone because she's um, traveling from Belize right now, but she's not at a three hour layover. You mean she's at the airport? Yeah, she's, um, she's, I'm not sure, honestly. I, I contacted her earlier, um, and she just said that she's um, out of town. We're originally supposed to have our trial a different date, and she already had travel plans for this week. So she's, she's available this week. Mr. Leiter? I, I mean, I, I don't object. I mean, had there been a request ahead of time for a telephonic appearance, then perhaps I, I wouldn't have. Some constitutional issues. It's a custody trial, and uh, I don't know what her testimony is going to be, but if she's going to. Yeah. Well, um, the procedure is if you wish to have a witness testify by telephone or by video, there's a specific procedure to go through and to request that. So while I appreciate that she's not available today, 
um, that request is denied. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. So in that case, can I call my first witness? Sure. Um, Clever son of Alaska. You do so much with testimony about the given this action. Show the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So, if you got it, yep, me go. <coughs> Would you state your name for the record and spell your name? Uh, my name is Claire Vasangalaza. It's spelled C L E V as in Victor E R. The last name is spelled S A N G A L A Z A. Thank you. Um, what is your occupation? Um, I'm a CDL tank driver. And how long have you been driving? I've been driving for 20 years. Okay. Um, what is your relationship to um, Ruth? You're my daughter. Okay. Um, and do you know the person, the plaintiff that's sitting right over here? Can yeah. you, would you be able to identify the plaintiff in the room? Yes. Okay. And um, when did you meet the plaintiff personally? Um, I think it was around between August and December, right? When we started. Let's see. Yeah, August and December of 2018. Between that time, 2018. Um, did the did the plaintiff ever go to your house in 2017? In 2017? Uh, I don't remember that. Okay. Okay. So, how long, um, do you remember, excuse me, do you remember the, hold on, no, sorry. Um, let's see, do you do you remember the time frame when um, I was away in Wisconsin? Generally, the time frame. Um, I would say for three months. Okay. Yes, three. Mm -hmm. um, did you ever, in that time, speak with me on the phone? Yes. Okay. And um, what kind of, what topics did we discuss in our conversation? Objection on your side. Well, she's here to testify, so she's subject to cross-examination. What did we discuss in our conversations um, while I was away? Anyway, we were just finding out how you were doing because when you left, uh, we didn't know where, where you were. We know, we, we, we find out you, uh, Nicholas' phone number, we had it, and he was not even answering his phone. So we were worried as to what was going on, and you were not answering the phone until one day we called, then we, to we were talking on FaceTime, and then you brought him to the phone. When you brought him to the FaceTime, when I looked at him, uh, I was not convinced. He looked like he was drunk at that point. Uh, he couldn't talk to me. He was walking around the house. That house looked very dirty inside. And that was that at that time. Did we ever discuss any other topics on the phone? Uh, not to my knowledge, no. And then how did that make you feel um, as a parent, that talking situation? Um, all I can say, the, the whole situation, um, it, 
it looked okay for me, but every time when we call, nobody's answering the phone. It, it, to me, it felt very weird. I didn't know what was going on there. That's what I can say. And um, when did I return to Las Vegas? So when did I re return to Las Vegas? Um, I may not recall because I've been very busy on shit at the end of the year. Yes, that's what I can say. Towards the end of the year. Okay. And um, how, how did I return to Las Vegas? Was that the end of 2018 or the end of 2017? 2000 and, uh, 2017. And, um, so what condition did I return to us? Uh, what? Objection vague. Sustain. You want to do specific dates or times and what he observed? Okay, so at the end of the year when I was getting ready to come back to Las Vegas, um, what was the reason for me coming back? Objection personal knowledge. Sustained. Okay, so um, why was I coming back to Las Vegas? That would also be lack of personal knowledge. He would only know from what you told him. Right. So based on... So the objection is sustained. You okay. can certainly take the stand and testify as to why you came back. Okay. Um, when I arrived at the, uh, your house at the end of the year, um, what condition was I in based on your observation? Uh, you, you were pregnant. Yeah. And uh, you, Nicholas came with you. He was homeless at the time. He didn't have anywhere to, to, to live. All he was doing is leaving the house, going to casinos, Objection, drinking, mm -hmm. and coming back right, drunk. Um, the question was, what did you observe about her? The answer was pregnant. You can now ask another question. Okay. Um, and uh, who came back with me? Who, 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 from your observations, who came back with me to Las Vegas? Did the plaintiff come back with you to Las Vegas? Yes. Okay, and um, what was your observations of the plaintiff? The plaintiff at the time, um, to me, I could not understand him because every time I see him, he's like he's, he has been drinking all the time. We try to talk to him. We, we could not have a conversation with him because we, I didn't know whether he had some issues at that time. Okay, and um, on November, Thanksgiving of 2017, um, who was present um, Who was present at your house? Uh, Nicholas was present. My, my wife cooked. Yeah. Any other people that were there? Yeah, my, my son was there. Any yeah. other Yourself, Isabel. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, what observations do you have about the plaintiff um, based on that Thanksgiving interaction? Well, he was all the time. Uh, he was out there on the balcony. Uh, I think he had brought um, some marijuana to smoke. He started smoking on the balcony, and uh, on Thanksgiving, we had Thanksgiving with him. I think he picked up some food, he ate. He kept on going outside by the time it was at the end of the night. He looked very, very drunk at that day. Okay, and... Um When I came back to Las Vegas, um, what was my occupation? What was I doing, but to your knowledge? 
um, student and you had uh, a part-time job and you're pregnant. And um, do, do you, see, so where was I living? Who was I living in? You were living at, uh, at our apartment. Okay, and why was I living there? To your knowledge. I'm sorry? To your knowledge, why was I living there? Because you, you had nowhere to go. You had nowhere to go. Okay. And then, um, do you, okay. Um, were you, were you present when, um, the plaintiff and I moved into the apartment on Buffalo? Yes, he, he, he called me, he called me, he said, um, can you help me with some furniture? I, I, I drove there, my own car, almost 95% of the furniture that was in that truck, I moved it myself upstairs. Why is upstairs drinking on the balcony? That's, that's what I remember that day. Um, you know, what? Jack is non-responsive again. The question was, was he there? Sustained. When they moved in. Okay. Um, what was your observation um, during the move? Uh, during the move, um, Nicholas did not want to help, but he called me to help. He was always at the balcony uh, getting drunk or smoking his marijuana out there. Okay. And. Um, I'm, I'm really sorry. What? What? I, what? I, what? Yeah. An objection as to, I don't think we've been given a date here. I don't know if there's a foundational problem. And it Approximately. It matters. Your Honor, right? I asked when I moved into the apartment. Uh, I know, but that doesn't tell us when that is. I mean, the, the plaintiff himself wasn't even able to answer that question. Well, it, it's still foundational, but it's certainly some time in when she returned, which would have been at least... Well, I think it matters whether it's before or after the birth of this child. I mean, this is a custody case, so I think we need to. I think That's it's true. important to establish this date. Okay, was the move before or after uh, the baby was born? It was. It was before. If I remember well, mm -hmm. if I'm correct, uh, the time frame it could be between March and April. Okay. Yes. And then. Um, It was. All allowed. What floor? It was on the second floor. Okay, thank you. Um, and have you have you ever had any uh, interactions with the plaintiff outside of his apartment? Has the plaintiff ever been to your house? Yes. Okay. And um, have you ever interacted with the plaintiff outside outside of a house setting? Sustained. Um, uh, were you were you present at my baby shower? Yes, I was present. Okay, and um, from your observations, who was at the baby shower? Uh, a lot of your friends were there, and then uh, Nicholas showed up later, and he d he didn't stay there. Maybe maybe he didn't know anybody. But he went straight to the bar, started drinking there. Objection, personal knowledge. Your Honor, I asked based on observation. He was present. He did. Overruled. And um, also, okay, so I'm sorry, com complete your, what you were saying based on your observation. Yes, and then, I don't know, I think the baby shower, we had food and everything, drinks and everything, and then. He kept on moving uh, back and forth to, to the bar. And he did not even, I can say, the baby shower itself. We had to ask my, my daughter, the one in Boston, to sponsor the, the baby shower because he did not even want to uh, pay a single penny for the baby shower. My daughter in Boston paid for everything. So 
based on your observation, um, how did the baby shower end? Uh, it, it, it ended well. Uh, a lot of the donations, I mean, the things were, which were brought to the baby shower came from your friends. And at the end, I can tell uh, when I looked at uh, Nicholas, since he's been drinking, I think we left him there with his friends getting drunk. In the bar. Okay. Um, do you know what the plaintiff's job is? Uh, <laughs> I don't think the plaintiff has a job. He told me he, he plays casino. He doesn't have no job. That is his job. But every time I see him coming to um, and so when um, your based on your interaction and observations with the plaintiff, um, did he ever go to work? No. Okay. Um, and based on your observations and interactions with the plaintiff, um, if he did go to work, when did he go to work? I never see Objection him going to work. He just testified he never saw him go to work. So. Correct. Sustained. So were you there in the delivery room when the baby was born? I moved to... When the baby was born in the delivery room, were you there? It was, it was you and mom. I moved. I said, I'm, I'm not going to be there. And then I moved okay. out of the room. Yeah. So after the baby was born, did you visit him in the hospital room? Yeah, after the baby was born, they called me in, he was on the table. Then I, I, I did see the baby, yes. And um, see, so after, what, uh, after the baby had been born, how many days did I stay in the hospital? If, if I'm not mistaken, it was... Maybe a couple days or three days. I, I don't remember what was. I was busy. I work. Uh, my job is to. I used to come there to see you. I deliver fuel in Las Vegas, so I was um, in and out. Yeah. Thank you. And um, who? You know that's fine. Um, after after we left the hospital, um, based on your observations, where did where did I go? Where was I discharged? Me baby. When they discharged you? I don't know, but all I know is you asked uh, Ma if you can go. You, you, you went home to our house. Okay. And um, why did I go to your house? Based on your knowledge. Based on my knowledge. Um, why did I go to your house? You needed help since Nicholas doesn't know anything to do with the baby. Uh, he, that, that's, what, that's what I can say right now. Okay. Um, and how long did we stay at your house, based on your knowledge? Roughly. say two, maybe two to three weeks. Okay. Um, after, after we left your house, um, where did we go based on your knowledge? You went to the, the apartment. Okay. And what happened on the day that I went back to the apartment based on your knowledge? Were you there that day, sir? Yeah. Were you, were, did, did we interact on that day? I'm not quite sure whether this is the day. Um, we went in there with you, and then Nicholas was refusing to uh, take care of the baby. Yeah, no objected, non-responsive. The question was, did he go with her that day? And the response was, he's not sure what. Yes, yeah, so I did. We did. I did go. With, with, yeah, me and my wife. 
Yeah. Took her to the apartment. To the apartment, yes. Okay. And the baby. And the baby. Okay. Yeah. And what did you observe? What happened? Uh, Nicholas was there. Right, we were sitting there. We weren't talking. I mean, Nicholas, since it, he said he cannot handle the baby because he doesn't know how to handle the baby. That's, that's, that's what I can say. That's what he said. Objection, you were saying. That, that night. It would be a statement of a party opponent overruled. Did you make any other observations, and did anything else occur? Well, it, the observations that I made that day when we, have got, uh, when we were there, uh, Nicholas is sleeping all the time. And uh, all he can do is walk to the balcony and come back. That's, that's what I observed. Okay. On um, May 21st, uh, did, did we speak on FaceTime, video, video call? 2018. Oh, sorry. Yes, sir. May 21st of 2018. Did we speak on FaceTime? Yes, we did. Okay. And um, what happened when I was on FaceTime with you? Um, May the, the 21st. This is the day when I spoke to you uh, on FaceTime. Um, when I had the police were there. If I can remember well. Uh, because Nicholas had jumped out of the building and the police was right there. He overheard me talking to you on the phone. That's when the police said we are dealing with a paranoia situation here. And then you were there giving statements to, to the police uh, because Nicholas had called the police on you, right? Um, on that day, that's all I know. Okay. Um, why, but to your knowledge, what, why, what did I tell you? What, what did I tell you was the reason why he had called the police? Oh, you wanted... One moment. <laughs> you wanted... One moment, sir. I'm objecting personal knowledge, hearsay. If she wants to testify about this episode, then I don't understand why we're getting questions about what, why did I tell you that I had done X, Y, Z? That's sustained. Testimony will be stricken. Okay. Um, did you come to the apartment on that day, on May 21st, 2017? Did you physically come to the apartment? Yes, I did. Okay. And um, who, who did you come to the apartment with? Uh, my wife. And who was at the apartment when you arrived? Uh, it was just yourself and the baby. Okay. And um, when you... No, that's it. That's fine. Um, okay. So, have you seen the plaintiff any other time any any other time following May twenty first, two thousand seventeen? Have you have you observed him? I think that would have been eighteen. Sorry, two thousand eighteen. Have you observed the plaintiff? Yes, in uh, two thousand and eighteen, when he came to um, to our house where we live, we moved from uh, not Las Vegas to the other place. Plaintiff came to my house. Uh, because he, uh, and then he started banging on the doors, ringing the doorbell, jumping over the fence, and then I, ca I called the police on him. I said, this is wrong. I live in a, in a quiet neighborhood that doesn't like people making noise, like the way he was doing. And you were not there. My wife was not there. The baby was not there. I was sleeping, getting ready to go to work. You had made a lot of noise that the neighbors, they were looking to, to, to say what, was, what is happening. Okay, and um, 
Are you are you present at the um, exchange uh, the exchanges with the baby at the uh, Las Vegas Metropolitan Department headquarters? Yes, we go there all the time. On uh, I'm there all the time. Okay. Um, and what are your observations um, based on your your presence there? What are your observations of the plaintiff? The plaintiff. Um, what I observe of the plaintiff right now is uh, his car is all dented and it's missing a mirror on the right hand side. Um, and he's picking up a baby with a car like that. I don't know how his car got dented. That could be part of his. Object to non responsive speculation. He's just talking about what he observed. Yeah. Well, the question was about what does she observe about Nick, and so far we've heard a lot about his car. Well, yeah, it's, it, it could be on, part of his, moment, sir. his... Sir, you need to let me. I'm sorry. Okay, well, I will allow it. Okay. You when, I, when I observed the car, the car was not like that. It could be part of his abuse of alcohol. He's driving around. All right, bumping. now we're just speculating, sir. You haven't the slightest idea how that car got damaged. So it's entirely speculation. The testimony will be stricken. Okay. Um, so based on your observation of the exchanges, like, what are your observations of the plaintiff during the um, exchanges? Um, he comes in late, maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes, all the time. The few times he, he gets there on time. Uh, just recently, I mean, he has been coming maybe like five of seven, ten of seven. He has changed, but before he was coming in very late. That um, I think that's what I can say. And what is your what's your observation of the um, baby during the exchanges? Oh, the baby is crying all the time. He doesn't want to go with him. He doesn't want to, 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 to go with Nicholas when it's time for Nicholas to be, pick up the baby. I don't know why. Okay, and what is your observation of um, when I'm going to pick up the baby? The baby is like, like this. Mom is crying to, to, to come back to you all the time. Okay, thank you. No further questions. Cross. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Sangalaza, I, I just want to first of all clarify something because I think originally you testified that you'd never met the plaintiff in 2017, but then there was some conversation about Thanksgiving dinner in 2017. So was the, was the Thanksgiving dinner that you were talking about, was that in 2017? Uh, 2018. I'm 55 years old. I'm, I'm an older guy. I do a lot of things, so I cannot remember all the days. But all I know, he came to my house on on Thanksgiving. In was it a year ago? 2017. Two ago? 2000. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. 2017. And I, I think you testified that your your son was there. Correct? Yeah, he was there. All right. Your son is Barrett Sangalaza? Mm-hmm. Okay. And, um, and you testified that, that Nick at some point, um, several times, that he had, he had kind of stepped out of the house onto the balcony, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, but you, you do recall, correct, that, that there was a reason that Nick Objection, was uncomfortable, Objection, Your Honor. Lead, right? Leading question. Th that yeah. wasn't even... That's cross. Uh, it's cross-examination. Oh, he's entitled to do that. I'm Go sorry, ahead. but he's, he's asking the, the witness a question by also giving him an answer. He said, you recall that... It's cross-examination. He can do that. Okay. You recall that there was a reason that, that Nick was uncomfortable at that Thanksgiving dinner, correct? There was no uncomfortable. Nick, um, I, 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 I asked him. I walked out there. He showed me uh, his marijuana in a, in a small box. He, he said he wanted to smoke his marijuana out there. I couldn't do anything. Okay, I, couldn't, I couldn't bring him inside. There was no uncomfortable. He was comfortable. He even said, 
I feel comfortable in this house himself. He, he said, said. He said. He said he felt uncomfortable. He felt very comfortable. Oh, he felt very comfortable. Oh yeah. Okay. Was that before or after uh, your son Barrett threatened him and told him that he had a gun? Barrett never threatened him. Okay. So never you, threatened him. So you, you don't recall having a conversation with Nick reassuring him that Barrett was just all talk and he didn't actually. No, I that. never. I never had a conversation with Nicholas. No. Okay. But Barrett has a pretty lengthy criminal history, correct? No. 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 So uh, Barrett hasn't been arrested numerous times? That's Barrett's issue. It's Barrett's issue. I, do, I don't yeah, know. Okay. Okay. But, yeah. but has, has, One moment. Has Barrett been One arrested? One moment, Mr. The objection was relevant. It is relevant um, with regard to the, the same issues of why he might feel uncomfortable or those kinds of things. Um, and so, um, as well as to bias and the other issues. So I will allow it. Go ahead. So Barrett has been arrested numerous times, correct? No. Has, has, he, has he been arrested more I, than I, once? I, I, I don't know. Okay. I, I don't know. You're aware that Barrett has been arrested as recently as this year? For, I, I don't know. For a weapons charge? I don't know. He, I don't Objection, know. badgering the witness. He doesn't okay. know. Asked and answered. He said he doesn't know. Yeah. Um, does Barrett live in your house right now? No. When, is, when did he most recently live in your house? He but doesn't live at my house. Okay, when did he most Objection, recently live Objection, badgering the witness. He, he, he doesn't live at my moment. house. He is not badgering the witness. He asked him when if Barrett did. So your dad can either say he never lived at my house, or he doesn't live in the house now, or whatever your dad's going to say. He doesn't live in the house. I understand that it's your testimony that he does not live there today. When did he most recently live in your house? He, he, he never lived in the house. My kids all come on, if I call them on Thanksgiving, if I call them, if I can get in touch with them, they can come on Thanksgiving. Okay. They, they have, they're doing their own things. Okay. Yes. So, so if he was released on house arrest to your address, then that was an error. Because he doesn't he, live there. He doesn't leave it to my house. Okay. <clears throat> Let's talk about this baby shower. There's a lot of testimony about this baby shower. And I think you said that uh, my client, you know, he showed up and then he left and went to the bar. Is that what you said? Was that your testimony? Yes. Okay. But the baby shower was at a bar, correct? It was at Bahama Breeze? Bahama Breeze, but to, with the, there was a special room. Okay. Over there, and the buy is on, on, okay. on that side. So, so, I just want to make sure we're clear. You're not saying that he just, like, he drove up, showed up for a few minutes, and then drove off some, some uh, somewhere else. You're saying he left the room and went to the bar in the same restaurant? Yes, on the other side of the, yes. Okay, I just wanted to make sure we were clear about that. And then I think you said that your, your daughter paid for the whole event? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, were, were, you, were you aware that my client actually paid the bar tab? For that event? I, I, I'm not aware of that. If he paid the bar tab, okay. he, he paid for his friends. He never paid the bar tab. Then my daughter paid for everything, for okay. the venue and everything. Okay. So where, where do you live right now? What's your address right now? Uh, my address? Yes, sir. Objection relevance? Yeah. I mean, it's already established where I live. I, I don't know whether I should give you my, everybody needs, why you didn't need my, you know my address. Well, sir, huh? hold on just a minute. Relevance as to why you need his address. Yeah. So, uh, we're, I'm about to work backwards in time through a, a number of residential moves, some of which were under very questionable circumstances. This is the home in which defendant resides with the child during her, her custodial time. And we are going to paint a picture that there is a tremendous lack of stability in terms of the housing situation for the gentleman. He seems in, right. unable to even tell me his current Assuming address. that you can tie it together, it's relevant, so you need to answer the question, sir. 